Hi, everyone. I'm Reverend Garth Schumacher. I'm the interim pastor of Congregational United Church of Christ in Amory, Wisconsin. And I'm really glad you're here today. Um, today looks a lot different because uh, I'm not in the office. Uh, the roads are getting really icy today. This is Wednesday, and I usually record on this day. <clears throat> and uh, got up this morning, and the roads were already st starting to get really slick. So I decided to do it this way. That means we don't have any PowerPoint. Uh, so if you need to read along with me while I do this uh, Bible study today, uh, please get out your Bibles and turn it to Galatians in the New Testament, Galatians 4, uh, verses 4 through 7. So that's the, the scripture we'll be using today. That's part of the lectionary for this coming Sunday. Although you're not going to hear that particular scripture this Sunday because we have a special treat. The, um, the Congregation of the United Church of Christ National Office in Cleveland has created this wonderful uh, worship service for all of our UCC churches, and I think you're going to really enjoy it this coming Sunday. And uh, also, you'll be able to compare it to some of the stuff we're already doing, and you know, I gotta say, I think our team is great. We're having a wonderful uh, time putting together these worship services and making them the best we can possibly make them. We've got uh, Barry and uh, we've got Ray and we've got Chris and we've got Chad and we've got all the volunteers from the diaconate that come in to make sure that everything is just so for our worship services. So a special thank you to all of our team, our worship team, putting together these, these worship services for you so that you can uh, celebrate the birth of Christ, and the life of Christ in our lives over the entire year. Let's hope that we don't have to continue to do it all year this year in 2021. So let me begin, begin with this Galatians text by reading it to you, and then I'll talk a little about it, and then I'll come back and read it one more time. Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. But when the fullness of time was come... God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons and daughters. And because ye are sons and daughters, God hath sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father, wherefore art thou no more a servant, but a son and daughter. And if a son and daughter, then an heir of God through Christ. That is the lectionary reading for this coming Sunday, September 20, or <laughs> December 27th, 2020. Paul is saying something amazing here, and one that I hope we're all really clear about. He has this mystical connection with God through Christ. He calls it being in Christ. And in Christ, he is one with God. And he is saying in this scripture that we are two. I'm going to go through a few pieces here. Uh, son made a woman under, man and woman made under the law. Now, when, he, when Paul talks about the law, he's talking about Jewish law. And that, the Torah, is what he's talking about. So everything is contained within his faith tradition. To redeem them that were under the law. To redeem them means to buy back. A redemption of a coupon or something means you get something for that. God buys you back. And what does God buy you back from? But all the mistakes and things we call sin are bought back and closer then to God. And then he goes on to say that we might receive the adoption of sons and daughters. We are adopted through Torah, through the law, and because ye are sons and daughters, God hath sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So if you sense in your heart that connection 
in Christ through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit that was in Christ, and Christ, remember, sends it back to us, then you are one with God as well. Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son and daughter. And if a son and daughter, then an heir of God through Christ. This is the mystical connection. And this is what Christianity is about. This is what Jesus kept trying to tell us. And this is what Paul was telling us, continues to tell us that we are one with God in and through Christ. That is embodiment. That is the enfleshment of Christ and the Holy Spirit in each and every one of us. May we all sense that connection with God this year. In 2021, let us go into this world knowing that we are one in Christ. May it be so. Amen.